What's good, YouTube? I'm making a big man build. Prime Demarcus Cousins, KP, and we have Joel Embiid. I'm gonna get right to it. It's no point, you know, talking, wasting time. So I'm going 7 1, 240, 7 5 wingspan. 7 5 wingspan because I do have a 79 3 ball right here. I'd rather that be 80. 240 just for the speed. And then, of course, 7 1, so I still have good enough, uh, what's it called, rebounding, blocking, etc. Again, you can go 7 foot if you want. I found it that overall my stats were better at 7-1-240 uh, with a 7-5 wingspan. Let's get right to the stats, right? We don't want to, uh, what's it called? No, no need to waste time. Anyways, inside shot, close shot, and we're going with a 90 ball. Driving layup, we're going to go with 80. Driving dunk, we're also going to go with 80, which is nice. Now, standing dunk here, we're actually going to go with 80. With the post, we're going to go 90. As far as mid range, we're gonna go ahead and just maximize that 87. Three ball, we're gonna leave that at 80. We'll maximize it too. I don't know about y'all, me personally, I'm a free throw guy. I get fouled all the time, so I make sure I always got my free throws as high as possible. Uh, for the passing, you're gonna leave that 75. It's kind of like your standard passing for this game. Uh, speed with ball, we're just gonna leave that maybe like at 50. We don't read, we're not ball handlers, we're not here to do that. We are either scoring in the post, defending, you know what the role is, man, <laughs> big man. You're not a screen setter and that's it. You're a do-it-all scoring type of guy. Just got to make sure you got a good point or a good team that can feed you the ball. Not all the time, you know, but just give you good enough touches. You know what I mean? Because you are a scoring threat. If the matchup presents itself, you should be having the ball often. Anyways, as far as the strength is concerned, we're going to go 86. Vertical, we're going to go 75. Just kind of like a base. Uh, agility, we'll leave it at 50, right? Just like a little base. And then speed, we'll leave it at 60 for now. Rebounding, we're only going to have it at 90. That's, you know, customary, good enough for now. It doesn't have to be 99. That's always the stats. Um, as far as your blocking, we're actually going to put that up to 90 as well. Get a 90 ball there. Steals, we'll leave this at 60. We just want to make sure we get the interceptor badge right here. As long as we have that, we're good. We don't need to have him go. We just got to have it, right? <laughs> um, interior defense, we're also going to leave that at 90 as well. Let's just take a quick look if the stats are where they need to be good. Then, since we have a few more points, we're going to just add this to the steal. Why not? And there you have it. So you have 90 close shots. So if you are posting up, you're going to be a scoring threat at all times, uh, no matter who it is or you know how much post defense they got. With a 90 close shot, you're tough. And then of course a 90 post control, you can you know go with fade ace. That's tough, by the way. Um, you know, some people might try to go for a Hall of Fame, but I, once you get the batch upgrade, just do it that way. You don't need to have this, you know. Gold is good enough considering all the other stats you have. So here, close shot. Basically, you can pose light. You have some standing dunks if necessary. You can drive the ball. You can dunk the ball. I mean, you can do everything as far as the inside is concerned, which is great. People sleep on the post a lot. As far as shooting, you got the 83 ball, so you could hit that corner three, top of the key three. Doesn't matter where, you can hit the three ball. Mid range, you can hit that everywhere, including you know high and low post. Passing accuracy, you have a good enough passing animation with John Moran to be able to swing the ball if necessary or when the time presents itself. You're not running the ball, <laughs> you're just passing the ball when the time presents itself. Plus, you have silver outlet or silver break starter, rather. And you can dime off the post with silver dime. I mean, it's a good ass, you know, 75 is good. So, your defense, especially if you know how to play the game, you don't need more than 90, right? If you can get more, sure, right? But this is a build that's meant to do everything score and defend. I mean, everything, everything two-way two-way three level um, you still have the ability to steal from the lanes right with a 62 you don't want to, you wouldn't want to rely on that too much but you still have the ability to do so because in this game they they honestly need to patch that but you know it seems like everybody can steal from the lanes with, with just 60 steals you know 90 blocking as well you know you want to get your blocks up 90 rebounding of course and then these are some you know decent physicals you're not going to be the fastest guy on the court you are 7 1 to 40 at the end of the day but you're still, you know, agile enough to be able to move around. The only thing you don't have is the perimeter defense. But again, this is a KP, you know, uh, Joe and B type of build. So you shouldn't be in a scenario where you are guarding the perimeter. And then the last thing is just the physicals. Um, we're good on that. Let's just see what we get. Yep. Prime the Marcus Cousins, Joe and B, and Chris Porzingis. This build is actually really good. Really, really good. You can guard the post. You can rebound the post. You can score in the post, you can drive, you can lay, you can shoot the midi, you can shoot the midi off the post, you can definitely shoot the three ball. And if you are getting double, like, you know, on some uh, joker shit, 
you have good enough passing to where you're not just you're not just passing it to the open guy, but you got the jammer animation and silver thumbs for that as well. So this is what I got for y'all. Let me know if this shit works out. I'm gonna try this build out and this is definitely it looks like it might be one of my favorite builds. I always end up making a big man at some point in 2K. Anyway man, peace out and thanks for watching man.